Mark Francie, it's been raining. It's been snowing here all day. Not so much that you could tell if you look out my window, but I think up on the hill, there were schools closed today because of snow. So, uh, but it's been a wet day today and very cold. So, um, hope you guys are having a good hump day. It's April. It's birthday month. And there's lots of birthdays coming up. Oh, hold on. That was my... That was my other camera that I pulled up so that I could kind of watch, make sure I was on screen and knew I was live right away. So let me turn that off. Hi, Ellen. I'm going to go ahead and switch my camera around just because I've got my one camera down low enough and it's in my face. Hi, Walter. Hi, crazy cat lady. So I'm just kind of pulling it up. Um, the new release is on its way to me, so we will play with that next week. So I thought what we would do today is play with the um, Spring Fling Inspirational Wreath card, or stamp set. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Karen. So in particular, we're going to use this wreath. Hi, Michelle. Um, and we're going to do a little heat embossing, and we might make a couple different ones with the same colors, colors different embossing powders. Hi, Penny. Hi, Mom. Um, hope Mom, hope your lunch was good today. She went home to my hometown today and got to eat at one of the new restaurants. But, so I'm going to put this aside because it's already done. Um, and I'm going to kind of show you what I did. Hi, Sarah. How are you? I cleaned my craft room this weekend in this corner that's over that way. Hi, Penny. <laughs> I um, It was so messy and I cleaned it all up. So it was so nice to have like a clean room for the most part good mom so i've got my um for my what i'm going to do is i was inspired by a card that hasn't been posted yet jessica has it coming up um for, i'm sorry i did what i'm confused francie I, you did what i'm so jealous what i'm uh, you can be jealous I guess. I don't know. Maybe I missed something. <laughs> anyway, um, we're going to go ahead. Oh, I cleaned my craft room. <laughs> That's what you, um, I was throwing stuff in that corner. So I had to. So all of my dyes are right next to me now. I even did a thing and I ordered new plates for my, my little embossing or my little die cut machine. And I'm excited. So, um, we're going, anyway, I'm be in inspired by a card by Jessica tonight. So, she will get it posted and it's it's she used a completely different stamp set but she used embossing powder and colored cardstock and i just had to yes i did i had to clean my craft room actually i just cleaned the one corner but i feel like i only threw away a little bit of like one bag of stuff but i feel like i have so much more room but i have been de-sashing so i have a variety of colors cardstocks here i thought i had yes and we're going to do a little bit of heat embossing. Yes, look at all the flutter. I have them all ready to go. Um, I just haven't used them that. That's what I was going to do this weekend. And I didn't. I did. I have them in alabaster, in um, jack-o'-lantern, heather. That's this aqua pigment paper. And I have some craft. Um, I used my scan and cut to cut a bunch of them up this weekend. But I haven't played with them yet. So I've got some colors. We're going to do maybe the same card, um, but in different colors. So I'm going to start with the Raven. And um, I, I am using my Blending Buddy on my stick and stamp mat because I want to be able to, I'll show you why. First of all, it's, it's I want to make sure it's good and stick. I've been using mine a long time. We're going to use this wreath. And all we're going to use is this section up here. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and stick it down. And I'm going to measure it, kind of eyeballing it. But I want the, the, the end of the leaf to be kind of the same on both sides. If we cut them down, it isn't going to matter. But we're going to try to do that there. So, hi, Lisa. How are you? Did you guys get a bunch of snow down, down in Cedar Rapids? So... I have a bunch of different embossing powders here. I have Blizzard, Martini, Rose Gold, Bubbly, and Scowleen. And um, we're kind of making, we may make a, a few cards tonight, but I think they're all going to be kind of the same. But we might grab that other wreath out. So I'm just going to go ahead and ink and put some embossing 
what is this? You know, anti-static powder tool, though. That's what it is. And then um, I thought this would be fun to just do not too much. Yes, I am ready to let it for nice weather. I just re-inked my ink pad before we started, so this will be quite juicy. Oh, yeah, we're going to use some scowling tonight. I will use the rose gold, too. I will do both. Hi, Lynette. How are you? Um, so most of our cards are going to be fairly the same, um, but just different colors. So here's why I used the um, embossing powder or the um, blending buddy with the um, stick and stamp mat is because I'm just going to flip it around and I'm pushing it back into this corner because the embossing ink stays um, wet for just a little until I heat, basically till I heat set it, I can do this. And so we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a couple of these before we heat set. So we've got that. Oh, I do. I did not have a bubble. I have a bubble. I did want, I'm going to point that out. I don't know if you, you won't be able to see it, but on a stamp set like this, this is a solid piece. There is a bubble. So I didn't burp it. Which helps. And so I got a little bit of embossing uh, um, stamp right there. Hi, Susan. And see all the other, yes, yes, I, I love doing this. You have rose gold, not bruised mirror, it's an awful color. It's not, it's, it's, it's a pretty color, Melissa, I promise, I promise. I, I like it, I don't use it enough, because I tend to go back to my same basics all the time, and I thought, we're going to use it in some colors. So, we're going to start with Scalene, because... I want to do it on this pretty, pretty background here. Now, what I want to try to do is I'm going to try to put a little anti-static powder right on top of that because I had that bubble and I don't want embossing powder to stick to it. So I'm going to try to cover that up a little bit. Yes. Yep. And I forgot to burp it. I should have known better. So I have my scowling. I'm actually on my second round of scowling, if you can believe it. Um, I, I haven't opened it yet, but I did order it because I used some. So, all right. So uh, this is the scowling. So it's got that black, little purple, little green. It's really, really, really pretty. Actually, I'll show you. I have not finished this yet, but this is scowling. This is on a pumpkin, and I don't know if you can see this, but... It's got all that fun glitter. Let's see if I can get up a little closer. This is just on a Dollar Tree pumpkin. Isn't that fun? That's why I had to buy a second scowling, because I used it up. <laughs> oh, I know. The doll is kind of funny, to be honest with you. It is. It's a very sparkly embossing powder. You see, every third time you need, yeah, I know. That's the way it always works. You know, I order something, like I placed an order on Monday, and then um, for a couple of the items from the April release, and then Christopher had to come out with the gems. And so I had to order again. All right, so there's our scowling. I'm going to go ahead and do another, a different one too, so we can heat and emboss all at the same time think we're going to do, I kind of googled it and it said rose gold would be good with a lilac or a pink. So we're going to do the pink and see what we think. And we're going to do the exact same thing. Um, one of the reasons I think that it's, I, I was, I wanted to do this is to show you the different, um, you couldn't find the gems. Um, they were under, I don't have the number in front of me. Maybe Penny can post a I think I happened to just see them while I was online, and I don't remember the number. There you the and there's rose gold. So um, I wanted to show that you know making sometimes we we want to make a bunch of cards, but we don't want to make the same card. Does that make sense? So we're gonna make the same card, but we're gonna use different colors and different embossing powders, and they'll give us different feels. So. I never had heard of that show before this, um, Michelle, before Christopher started talking about Scowling. And then Ten, I totally wanted to find it because my daughter, I think, would just probably eat it up. 
knowing her taste in movies. And I think she would probably like it. I have to find, I'm going to have to tell her, see if we can find it somewhere she can watch it. So, and I thought this card is a fun card because you can stop where I am, where I am right now with the heat embossing. I mean, this is a card. I'm going to go ahead and cover this up. I'm fighting myself over getting the inspiration box. I love the dragons, Ellen. I am super excited for the dragons and that castle stamp. I am a Harry Potter fan, so I am super excited to get mine. I'm close, Michelle. I am going to be 48 on Sunday. So here's the rose gold. Now you could totally stop right here and use this like this, let it dry, um, or heat emboss it a little bit, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this rose gold on here and do a little bit of a tone on tone. And then we're going to heat set these. Okay, add a little bit of a bubble there. There you go, flat back crystal bundle, thank you. And I will say that if you get the bundle, you're going to get six um, tea. It is part of um, the inspiration box this month. It's Magical Dragons, I think is what it's called. I have my list here somewhere. Um, that the dragons are in the inspiration box in it. And so I would say if you can um, get the box, you, I would because it has the um, it has the dyes in it too. And then you also get um, there's a simple blend with a dragon in it, and then the marble paper pad. So um, that it, I would say. And then there's an add-on set called Once Upon a Time that has a knight and a princess and a prince and another little baby dragon. And it's just fun. I Like I said, I will have it next week and we will show it. And I will get an unboxing video done as soon as, as soon as um, I do get my box. We're gonna quick speed set this. This is the Scalene. But no, Michelle, it's okay. I'm getting close. There is a little extra glitter from the scowling that's kind of stuck around. The dragons are adorable. All right. So here's the scowling. Yeah, bring it a little bit closer. It's easy to see the color in real life. It's hard to see it on camera, the little greens. Yes, Christopher showed it last night. And it is so fun. My butterflies are? Yeah, that's all right. Okay, so I'm just going to check. Make sure it's a nice and feet set. Yeah, I can let the butterflies, they can, they'll get a little ways, but not too far. I have a window in front of me. So here's the rose gold. Oops, my heat gun is stuck to my table. Here's the rose gold on the pink. Oh, I guess there's a little bit of a shadow there. Yes, the Dragonflight stencil is not right now not available for separate. Thank you. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and what we're going to do is we're going to put this back inside. And I'm flipping it. Um, I'm, I'm putting it back where I had it and we're going to go ahead and we're going to put more powder down. But I'm going to very quickly clean my stamp. I had to, when I cleaned my craft room, I found a bunch of old squeaky cleans. And some of my squeaky cleans were empty. And one of them didn't have enough in it, so I switched it to one of my old, and it's the peeps. And it's so funny. Yeah, the Dragonflight is in the inspiration box. Yes, it is. No, they're still working on it. It's, um, they're still working on getting a graphic for it. Um, it is the, the six by eight stamp set. That's the dragon stamp set. I believe it's called Magical Dragons. I'm trying to think where my 
little cheat sheet is right now so I could tell you for sure what it's called. I'm not sure where I put it. Let me see if it's down here. Yes, here, I got it right here. Um, sorry about that. The Magical Dragon stamp set is in the stamp, is in the box with the dies and then the Marble Magic paper. And then you'll get the Dragon Flight stencil. And like I said, yeah, Christopher went through the box last night on his live. So you can go ahead and watch that if you want to. And you'll be able to see that. Um, and then he used the die of the month on his card, which I'm super excited for. All right, now my stamp is clean. And we're going to go ahead and do the exact same thing in the other corner. So I'm, I'm using this wreath, but I'm not using the entire wreath. I'm just kind of eyeballing it so that my lines look kind of the same. You know, my leaves are leave are kind of in the same spot, but it's okay if it's not perfect. All right, where did I put my embossing? Oh, I was talking about, if you buy all of the gems, the flat back gems, you get six of the detail. Um, and I have one on my desk, but what I like them for is I have one inside, I bought, and I put them inside my embossing powder bag things, the bigger one, the ones that I keep, this is um, Raven, so that it's easy to scoop. So I did buy six of them at one point and then did that, but, well, thank you. I just thought this would be a fun way to use this. And it it's it's very reminiscent of, like I said, Jessica had, had this card using the Wings of Lace stamp set that we'll be, she'll be posting here, I think this week. And um, it's very similar to this idea of embossing but but it's but it's a completely different set so i thought i'd take that yeah i um, think you know i just was trying to figure out a different way to use this last night while christopher was talking i kind of played around with it i just i didn't really um stamp it out into a full card and i just thought i'd check and see what i thought about it so we've got that one done and I am going to go ahead, it will sit just long enough that I can go ahead and that's why I said we can, you can multitask and do multiples at once because the embossing ink will last, will stay wet. So I'm just adding a little bit more anti-static powder. We're going to stamp it in. But, you know, I'm trying to think outside the box of how to use our stamps in multiple ways, but not always the same way. I thought would be a fun way to figure out. And I just think that it could make a very fun, elegant card. And I think it really depends on how you finish it too. Like cut it down and use the same embossing powder to make a mat behind it. Um, use a big die cut word to and die cut it out and then use the embossing powder on it to make it, you know, the sentiment. That's not what we're going to do tonight, but we're just going to stamp a sentiment and make kind of a one layer card. So, but I wanted to do a few because I thought they're all basically going to be the same, but I wanted to do different colors. And then, you know, basically put them together. They're kind of a one layer card, if that makes sense. I'm just kind of looking for my papers here. So we're going to use the rose gold. You could do two different colors even too, um, you know, in the corner. So you could do rose gold in some corner and then another color if you wanted to. But I'm going to use the same. And then I see I got just a little bit. And so what I like to do is I like to hit it with my, and then blow. Because that helps blow it off two if especially if I'm not perfect with my brush so I can get just enough but I think as I've said before if you get a little bit of extra embossing powder I'm not steady that's the problem is my hand isn't steady always when I do that thank you oh that you should have made popcorn and that intriguing that makes me feel good Melissa <laughs> Thank you, you guys. I just think it's kind of a fun idea to, I mean, we have a lot of wreath stamps, I'm sure, in our stash. Well, I know I have a couple. And if you just choose part of it, 
it gives it just a different, completely different look. And I mean, you can go so bold as to do, you know, gold or silver, you know, sterling, the gilded instead of the scalene. I was kind of doing, I thought it'd be fun to do a tone on tone look with both of these. And I'm just using a scratch piece of paper and then I just shake it off to the side over my garbage can, make sure there's no extra. All right, scowling, where'd you go? There's the lid. So, we are our biggest critic. Yes, yes, we are. And I've come to embrace this. I love this whole stamp set too, Francie. It's such a fun stamp set. And you've got lots of options. I'll show the die with it too in just a minute here for those who haven't seen it yet. So like my circle spin, you know, aren't quite perfect on both corners, but you get the idea and I think it works. Just keep moving my embossing gun so I don't accidentally warp too much. I have actually only used it in the um, the uh, spring flingament, and then I made one other card with it. Um, I had made a shaker card with it not too long ago, and that's it. So I was going to show you. So this stamp set also comes with the coordinating dies, and it has dies for all the sentiments and the other images. Like there's this flower right here, and this flower, which is that flower, which you could punch out and put on top for. Um, some dimension and then there's this butterfly on this flower and that matches this butterfly and flower here for this wreath but there's also these big these are the big so these will cut out the wreaths um, like I said I'm not going to do that tonight which would be another option of how to make this card is you could cut them out and just and layer them and they would be kind of like a frame so we've got these. I'm kind of letting them cool a little bit because we got to wipe this off because I've got the anti-static powder on it to make sure the raven is a little bit darker. Like I said, I got a little bit of happy on this one, so there's a little. Um, those are going to be some gems or something there because I that was the embossing powder. And then, okay, yep, the stamp and die is bundle is currently out of stock. But yeah, if you guys want a link, shoot um, Penny can give you a link to get notification. Otherwise, the stamp is, in, um, I believe, is in stock, isn't it, Penny? I apologize. I should have checked to see if the die was in stock before I said that. Um, oh, Michelle, you're right. That portfolio was so awesome. And it was it was just really fun to watch. I was just I was really enjoying watching the video of that today. Okay, um, I think we're gonna leave those alone now. This is where I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. This stamp set has some amazing sentiments in it. Oops! I just threw my dies in the garbage, you guys. Oops! I better pick them up before Clutch eats them. But I wasn't sure. Okay, thank you. If I wanted to do such a small, you are the best, you know, they're sending um, sunshine. Thank you for being a friend. You know, the, you could, if you want to do it this way, you got hang in there. Hello, friend, missing you. If you have the crystal sentiment, sentiment dies, you could do one of those big words. So I went through and pulled out a bunch of stamps. Yeah, don't eat them, please. No, they don't. <laughs> um, so I kind of grabbed a few. These are some smaller sentiments, too but I went through everything just to decide what I wanted to use. Um, you know, there's all sorts of thank you for being there. That was on this, you make my heart full. This is, I think this homegrown happiness is in stock and they have some fun sentiments, but go through your stash, decide what, you know, sentiments you want to use. I do have a couple other ones we've already started. This is Blizzard on Alabaster. 
And this is another scowling. That was one I tested. And here is the Halushka. No, I'm sorry. This is the Martini, Ellen. Or uh, Melissa, I'm sorry. I saw Ellen here. Things. And then this is the Bubbly on craft. So we have a bunch of ones we can finish here. Um, I pulled out Sharon Sentiments. I thought that we might use one of those. It's a little bit of a different script, but I thought it was fun because you have all sorts of things. You've got the thinking of you. Happy birthday. Get well soon. And I think we're just going to do a few of these. I think I'm going to do a thinking of you a with deepest sympathy. And then we'll do a few things. Um, yeah, they, I just think they're just such fun. So we have some others we can finish. I haven't got them all done, but I wanted to show a difference. So if you just did two, we can do that other wreath and just see what that looks like if we want. Um, let's see, I wanted with dif deepest sympathy. And we're gonna go just across the middle of this one. And we might chop this one down just a little bit. All right, let's see if we're straight. Straight enough. I love the bubbly on the craft too. It's, I was trying to figure out, like I said, what colors I wanted to use. And the bubbly is just very, very pretty. And it's one of those colors I don't use enough. Okay, make sure that's in the right corner. So we're gonna use this script die. And like I said, I really inked this, my ink pad before we started here. So I'm gonna go very lightly with my finger. It makes such different cards. I mean, I mean, think of the different situations that you can do with these and the different sets you can make. So, I mean, even just, it doesn't, it, it needs the shine, I think, but just putting that in there is just perfect. In my opinion, um, you know, we all sometimes need to have a sympathy card on hand because I've, I, I don't know which YouTuber I heard say it, but you know, we're never in the right frame. We never, we're not always in the right frame of mind when we need a sympathy card to make a sympathy card. So it's always nice to have one. And these make perfect little, perfect versions of them. You know, you could cut it down to a smaller panel. All right. Thank you for the links there, Miss Penny. I'm going to go ahead. Uh, Melissa, I haven't either. The new APAC gems, are they all in the tiny one? Are they all the tiny ones in the jar? I believe they're in a jar, in different little jars. You can buy them individually or the eight pack. Like I said, I will have mine. I think Christopher showed them last night, Ellen. So if you wanted to watch that from last night. So, so we've got this. I'm going to cut it down just a little bit. And we're going to cut it down on this side because I have a little bit more. And I'm gonna cut, try to cut it down just a little bit on each side. A little bit more on this side, then it will be right at four inches. And then we'll do a little bit off the top and bottom. And then we're gonna mat this. Yes, thank you. Oh, are they all tiny? I can't remember what size he said they were. They are smaller gems, yes. I know he said what size they were in the live last night, but I don't remember off the top of my head. I was crafting at the time, to be honest with you. So what we're going to do, three millimeters, that's what rings in my head, but I wasn't 100% sure. I'm just going to grab a piece of plain old black cardstock that I have here in my stash. I don't even know. It's just... Uh, you know, it's not Raven or anything. It's just a kind of blank one. And we're going to go ahead. Thank you. It is. I like the little ones the best myself, too. We're just going to go ahead and we're going to make a mat. And we're going to use the scowling to do that. So we just need the edges done a little bit. I like to go in the corners. And then um, this is going to just give us a different look. Now I've got embossing powder on the or embossing ink on this. So I'm going to turn it over so the scowling doesn't stick to it. Yeah, I like the little gems because 
you can use them for so much and i'm these would be those would be perfect for this card because you could put them in the center of this flower um, i'll have to make do with the ones i have for right now there we go oh it's just such a pretty color I don't really fancy either. I think about it every once in a while. I mean, I, and the, actually, you know what I really like to do with it is that if you do it multiple times, it gets super thick and smooth. Hey, okay, now, Francie, you can't be mad at me. I'm using my fingers. Okay, three millimeters. Thank you. I'm all about using what we got. So instead of having to buy all, you know, it's fun to buy specialty card stocks and things like that. But if we can look, if we can use what we already have in, in our stash, then, you know, it's less that we have to have in our rooms that are always full of stuff. Then you got matchy matchy. All right, so we've got that, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to glue this together quick. But look at just, oh, I think I might have to trim that down just a hair. Yeah, we got to turn it down just another hair, so it's not quite going to go this side a little bit. Make sure it's nice and straight. All right, there we go. Hi, Monica, how are you? Oh, no, it, I have my handy little, thank you, Melissa. I have my little handy clip here, but when it comes to these types of items, I don't use anything to hold them. It's just easier for me, it's faster. I've got my little, my, my little um, tweezers and things too, which I do use. But when it's the big items, my fingers are far enough away. <laughs> it oh yes, I ha, I it always makes her nervous. Sometimes it's faster to not use those clothespins. That's why. And the other thing is, when I use clothespins on something like this, that's usually when I hit the embossing powder that's not been, and then I gotta fix it. So, I promise I'm very safe. My fingers didn't even get warm. The easy ship rolls. Ooh, I have not seen those yet. Uh oh. I'm gonna have to go peek a peek out of that. I did find my old tear tape from Create Your Own Ending, like a long time ago. I found this in a box because I it was from a car uh, and I haven't used it. And I'm like, I probably should get that out and use it. Okay, so I will do this later. But now all I have to do is stick this on a card base. And I have got a card. I mean, we can we can embellish, which we might do too, but we're going to keep moving on and then we'll decide if we're going to embellish. So, um, all right. So we did the with sympathy. Let's do another one. What other sentiments do we have here? I think the pink one needs to be fun. Um, happy birthday. No, I'll have to check those out. I haven't looked since this afternoon. I was on looking for something this afternoon. This one we're going to turn and do this way. And we're going to do it up a little bit higher because we are going to trim this one down as well. Oh, yes. I was going to say, Monica, yeah, that's Penny is, Penny is texting as Christopher tonight. She's helping with the links. So sometimes it comes across as Christopher. And it's, you know what, Monica, there are times when I've commented and I'm on my phone and I didn't realize that I commented it and I commented it as Brutus Monroe over the years because it defaults to that. And then I'm like, it's, and then Christopher's like, oh, who, you know, he said that to me and I'm like, you know, I'm like, oops, or I've noticed it and been like, oh, I got to go back and be me. 
it's me that did it. All right, we got to grab another piece of scratch paper here. So, yep, it says Christopher on Christopher's channel. And yeah, that's what it does. Because, oops, we almost used the wrong powder. Now, here's another way you could do a different color and make that nice and big. But I do think I'm going to go ahead and use the same color because we're making monochromatic cards tonight. I wish I could almost leave it like this. It would be kind of fun. But obviously, the, um, the powder will not stick without it being heat set. So this one says, happy birthday. I don't know if we're going to map this one. <laughs> you have a split personality. That's funny. Yes. we go we also could do a little ink blending to kind of give this some dimension maybe we'll do that i will grab let's see what do i got here i don't want to use prom queen i'm gonna go rose, rosy cheeks i'm gonna grab rosy cheeks we're gonna add just a little bit identity crisis that that would be that would be right yeah well, who am i today so we're just gonna add a little rosy cheeks It's just kind of given a little bit. It might not come up on the screen, but it's given it just a little bit of depth behind the wreath sections. Just another option. And I will tell you, it's hilarious when Chris is live because he's like, did I say that? Oh, yeah, that is funny. Yeah, because he, he that's that's true. He sometimes and he or he'll be like, Penny, Candy, whoever you are. <laughs> and I'm like, usually it's Penny. Every once in a while, I help out. But usually I just help out. I just log in as myself. So I added just a little bit of extra dimension to this. It, it's going to be hard to see in person. I mean, in camera. But you just see that little bit of color, a little shading. And then we'll just kind of wipe that off. And we're going to cut this one down as well. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be kind of a little bit more, a little bit more um, forceful, dramatic, whatever, aggressive. That's the word I'm looking for, cutting that down. It is, it is very fun. And it's, it's just a nice way to add. So I'm not going to put a mat on this one. And this one is just one we're going to put, we can just put on the white. You could put it on another pink. I mean, let's see, I was going to grab, here is the rouge cardstock. And this one isn't cut. This is just one of my scraps. But for example, if you put it, so you could put it on the rouge. Or you could put it on craft. You know, I just, this is just some different options we have. We'll finish those up. I just want to keep kind of, I hope you guys don't mind. I'm going to keep heat and bossing and then we're going to finish these up. I think this one I'm going to leave with the two and we're going to do something different. So we're going to change this up a little bit. Let's put a sentiment on it first. And then I have an idea of what I want to do. I think this one we're going to do... Hello. We're going to do that big hello. Oh, yes. If I put it on black, we could do that, Melissa. Yep. We could make it pop on black. We can try that as well. Sometimes I get them all ready and I have them on mats and I don't quite get them on to, to card bases until I need them, which, of course, you know, then at the last minute, it's like, oh, no. Especially during a live. Sometimes I don't get them right on a card base. I do that a lot of times afterwards. So we're going to do this, and this one's going to be the martini again. I think that's pretty good. This one I think we're going to mat on some green. I don't know if I have the exact right green. We might have to make a mat for this one. Put that paper away before I lose it. I love this martini. I don't use it enough.
And even even if you wanted a little bit deeper green, you could use the jade or the new Enchanted Dragon. I think it's called Enchanted Dragon. Embossing Cutter of the Month. And um, that would give you some other options in green for the Holushka. Yes, that is. It is, you know, sometimes they're, I just, you don't quite have them ready um, on a base until it's ready to go. Okay, so my thoughts for this one, we're going to just change it up a little bit. Just a little bit. We're going to stamp it out. Let me grab another piece of craft. I'm just going to grab some scraps here because we don't need, well, I guess I have another whole piece here. I'm going to stamp the whole I the whole the whole wreath once and then we better put some anti-static powder tool down because it's already got some ink on it. And we're going to die cut it out. And then we're going to stamp it just the partial part. We're going to die cut it out a little bit. We're going to try what that looks like. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this down. I mean this wreath is makes a great just focal point for your card. It, it it you're it doesn't it looks like just kind of like eh but then once you see it and I don't mean it that like that it just it's just it's a beautiful color. Um, I when I originally went to order it I wasn't sure if I wanted to order it because I don't use green very often, but then I was like eh we're gonna order it and I love it it's beautiful. I mean I pretty much I only have there's only two embossing powders I don't have. And it's because I kind of forget about them. And I think Donna's one that made me. I need Milky Way and Mic Drop. I think they're the only two I don't have. And then, of course, there's a few embossing powders of the month that I haven't, I don't have necessarily. All right, I'm going to just flip this around a little bit because I just need this little section right here. Um because we're going to create, we're just going to see what it looks like. I'm going to try a different kind of frame. With it. I'm trying not to bend my embossing buddy here. Or my stick and stamp mat here. All right. So let's get this kind of down and then we're going to finish these up. Yeah, well, I blow out is beautiful. It is a really pretty color. Raspberry tart. Um, Love potion is one that I really like too. I just, I don't, I don't use them enough. I mean, I need to, but there's so much. Then you got aqua pigments and chroma mists and all sorts of stuff. There's not enough time in the day to use them all. All right, we are going to brush some of this off. This is too big of a brush for that. Okay, I'm holding my breath. I'll be... There we go. Oh, I almost blew the whole powder. You guys, you missed it. I almost blew this, all this. Sarah, it's one that I didn't start with, and then I just started adding them. You have my... Yep, and Milky Way is the other one. Um, they don't... This is, I mean, I, I can't say they don't go bad because I've had some from not that are old, like 20 years old that a friend of mine had that have, but they don't. They last a long time and you can get a lot of use out of one jar. So I like having them. Um, I do have one friend who doesn't like embossing. Um, so she doesn't do a lot of, I mean, she was not using embossing powder. Was she was an embossing powder when I went to a retreat, and I was like, what are you doing? You don't heat emboss. Um, she likes to hot foil. And I can't, I, I don't like to hot foil, but this is faster. That's why I like it. You know what, Melissa, it's true. They have the best embossing powders. Maybe a little section right there that didn't. So I either brushed that off a little bit right there or it didn't quite set. Where did the move? All right. All right. So I got to grab my die cut machine. 
since I have a clean desk, I can actually die cut. And I have a brand new magic mat. Hi, Christy. It's okay. You're, you're fine. You're getting home later and later. You're good. We're not done yet. We're just kind of finishing up. We've been kind of making the same card a couple different ways with different colors. So I just got a new magic mat that we're going to cut into tonight. We're using the inspirational wreath and some embossing powders. So I'm sorry if it's a little bit off camera. <laughs> She's not at work. That's okay. You can shout. Sometimes we have to shout. Sometimes I shout all the time and I talk way too loud. Yes, that is 100% right. I do that a lot. That I do that even with black. You can do that. Um, is get if you don't have a lot of space with a you can stamp with any dye ink with a misty or and then stamp over it with your embossing ink and do that. Or you can use pigment inks or oxides and they they stay wet a little longer and you can cut them out and um, and you can heat emboss on them. Um, I have a whole set of pigment inks up in the corner that I got at my local, at my um, Scrap Mania at one of the garage sales. And I only bought them because they came with the reinkers. And I use them sometimes when I want to heat emboss. All right. Now I just, and this magic mat is brand spanking new. So it looks like I need a paper shim to cut into my mat a little bit more. So we're going to run it through one more time. Yep, oxide inks. Yep. And then there's, you know, and then, then there's nothing wrong. There's these some of these colors are just you can't replicate them because they're just so beautiful. I like both. And like I said, I do that all the time is I use icicle a lot and fairy dust on ink. Okay, my magic mat is not liking me tonight. There we go. I use a real shim. I'll use a real shim. And then um, you can, there we go. So it cuts out. Yeah, that was better. See, now this is what the wreath looks like when it's all cut out. I do Raven with, um, with, with clear embossing powder a lot too only because black embossing powder hates me. I have some, but I I don't pull it out that often. I usually use Icicle over my Raven because it just hates me. <laughs> All right. Let's get this out of the way. We're just gonna set that on the floor. So. All right, this is my thoughts, is that we're going to put one here, and we're going to put one here, and we're going to pop it up a little bit. So there's a couple ways you could pop it up. You could obviously cut out more color, more colors, or more of the same shape, and just put them on there, and, you know, and raise them up, or just use some um, foam tape, which is what I'm going to do. I have a couple Fs left over of the um, Raven, or the black Easy Tab. That's what I'm going to put on. And I think this just adds kind of a fun change to this card. And then we'll grab some other emboss, or some other, if we need them. Raven with Raven embossing powder, yes. It's kind of like alabaster with alabaster embossing powder. It gives that deep color. It just... I never seem to use enough anti-static powder tool in my, I think that's my problem. All right, do I need, I don't need one there. I think we're gonna be good. So we're gonna stick this one in here and we're gonna go ahead and peel this off. Yes, I Penny, I can too. Uh, I mean, it's, it's amazing, um, you know, I've, 
I've really barely ever gotten rid of anything. My sister just was here and I sent a few older um, um, stencils home with her that have been discontinued because she wants to, she, she went through my stencils and she wanted to use them in her crafting. So I said, why don't you go through here? And she took some home and then there's some that are still in stock. And I said, I'll either rebuy them or I'll tell you if I need them back someday and you mail them back to me um, so that I can do that. Okay. So just kind of eyeballing it so that it looks about the same. Looks like I have the wreath thing sitting right there in the edge and we're going to go ahead and cut these off. So I did not cut this down. At all. This card went down at all. First collecting. I, I'm kind of a collector, but I've been trying. I mean, I do collect, but I think it's more because I said I'm going to use and then I end up not using. So here's another option for you guys. It gives you just that little bit. And you could do that with all four corners. Um, I just did it with two corners tonight. Crazy Cat Lady, you need to get the Raven. If you like black, get the Raven. It's amazing. And then, oh, until you need it. I totally understand. So we've got this card. Um, and we've got this other one. Let's get this. I, do we have, yeah, we have 10 minutes. So let's get these on some card bases. I actually was going to cut this down. So we're going to go crazy and cut it down because I wanted to mat this on some green. Didn't I say that? So we're going to cut it down. We're just going to cut it down a little bit, though. A little bit off the bottom. A little bit off the side. I think that works because that's the way now it looks a little bit better. Thank you. The penny. Yes, penny. I That's actually one of the... I was thinking about using that one tonight, but I thought I wanted to go with the... Um, I wanted to go with the the rose gold. And look at this. This Jurassic is almost a perfect match. So I'm going to cut down. I'm going to... Let's see. What size is this? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, it's a little bigger than... I didn't. must not have cut this down right. It must have been a, a four and a half. So we need to cut this down. But is there a Francing? Francie, there could be... Do you want to know why I say that? Because once upon a time, you could, and at Create Your Own Ending, I made my own embossing powder, Francie, this last year. And I will show it to you. And it is called Cotton Candy. I think I even have it out. This is my embossing powder, French. It's at Create Your Own Ending. We were able to make our own embossing powder, and this is what it looks like. And it is. It looks like cotton candy. Yeah, and I have what I made because um, I told Christopher we should make it, and he said, "Tell me what the recipe was," and I don't really remember but it was really fun. I think I have it swatched out, but I can't remember. I'll have to use it and then, and do it. And then I'll, I'll share, I'll share a, I'll share a project with it. So this, if it's about perfect, this is the Jurassic. So the Jurassic is very close to the martini. So if you don't have Jurassic, you'll have to pop it in and get some of that because it does match the martini. We're just going to go ahead and put that down. And then we got to kind of finish up our little cards here. We've got three of them. And I'm just eyeballing this. I'll put them on a card base later. That's the easy part. It is. I was hoping it would be. Now, I didn't, my mats are not quite perfect. So we're just going to kind of eyeball it here. It's close enough that it just has that little bit that shows. So we've got this card, and then we've got the scowling on the raven, and then you guys said maybe black. Let's see what it looks like. 
pop it on some black. Not sure I'm in love with it on the black. It's not that I don't like it. I just, I kind of think, I almost feel like it needs the rose gold. What do you guys think? Hi, Heather. Goodbye. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think we're going to make a rose gold card. And we'll do it with a card. Um, I'll just grab a card piece of card stock for right now. She heard scowling. It, no scalding doll, just scalding embossing powder, Heather. And we heated her up. I wanted something a little bit, I wanted black and color. So I didn't want the raven detail. So I'm just kind of adding a little color to the edges of this. We're going to quickly put some embossing powder on this and make this. Yep, the rose gold. So you can see what the rose gold look like on um, white. It's rose gold's not a color I think of very often when I want to heat emboss, and I should because it ends up being quite pretty. Um, which is funny because I have a picture of what rose gold should look like in my head, and it's but I think it's because it's supposed to be you know, like when you look at your ring, it's like metallic y or stuff like that. Um, like if it was a rose gold ring or jewelry, and um, it's got that look, but it's not. Yeah, the black didn't do it for me either this time. I think we needed, Melissa, we should have, if we'd had a black sentiment or something else, black, that would have really worked. But I had to that light sentiment. Like I said, I wanted to do tone on tone just to give some options. Quickly heat set for this. I should have warmed it up a little bit. Look at the prettiness of that rose gold on white. I'm pretty sure this is not your mama. Oh, hi, Shannon. That's perfect. How are you doing? Girl, I miss you. You can listen. Do you, are you driving and got me on Bluetooth? I do that all the time with the fulfillment team to go go live during my lunch. So I listen to them on my way home from work or on my way back to work. And you already down, I hope you're ready down there, Shannon. You get to see the eclipse, I think, don't you down in Texas? So yeah, this is, this is what I wanted. And we cut this one down a little bit more aggressively. So it's gonna have, um, a lot more of that rose gold, but I like it. So I'm going to quickly add this to the card base. Oh, we better put one piece across the center here. Okay, for cleaning my craft room, you guys, it don't look like it's clean anymore. <laughs> my tabletops, anyway. All right. So like I said, this is a tone-on-tone -tone one, so it is going to be harder to read. But I think it's very fun. Um... We've got a couple of these. I think we should quick, I know we're getting towards the end here. Um, we didn't finish the other ones. I'll finish those and um, with different sentiments. I might do some die cutting sentiments and show them. Thinking this needs a little trim, a little trim. Because the top and bottom look, it might be a little bit wider. The top of the sides did. There, that looks a little better. So let's add some gems quick, okay? Thank you, you guys. So I think what'd be fun is we're gonna add um, some gems. So we've got these here that we can add gems to. So we'll do that. I'm gonna add glue to each piece and we're gonna move kind of quickly on this one. So we've got the little, and the new gems will be perfect for this. Green. I think I want to do a pop of color. What color should we do, you guys? With the green. I really don't want to do red because I feel like red's going to be Christmassy looking. I think the partial wreath is it's fun. It, it really is. How about... Oh, yes, yes. I won't get you. How about... Yellow. We're going to do yellow. Yellow. 
It's going to be kind of a John Deere. And that's oh dark. You think I should do dark? Um, black? Oh, I know which ones we can do. I know we're going to go over just a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure for sure if we're going to get to see a lot of it. We said supposedly 90% here in Iowa, but I haven't really paid that close attention. These are part of the jewels mix. This is the Halloween mix. And these are kind of a, um, it's not an alabama, it's a, oh, maybe my stick isn't going to work tonight. Okay, Francie, I'm trying not to poke you. The kind of a rainbowy kind of gem. Yeah, it's not like, I'm going to have to just pour them out because they're not liking this. I think they're sticking to the bottom of that. Grab some bigger, the bigger size ones here. Kind of, oh, that looks like it's the same size. They don't have to be exactly the same. Oh, that's too big. There's a little one. I'm sorry if I'm missing your comments. I do too. Yeah, it oh, Ellen, it does. That'll be fun. I mean, it, I have lunch at noon. It's supposed to start right around noon here in this area and then go to like three, I think. So I'll probably pop out and peek at it. Francie, that'll be fun too. I know that there's all sorts of different, I've heard different people talking about different things going on. Um, you know, I'm, I'll be working, so I'll see part of it, but probably go out at the beginning, check it out, check it out halfway through, and then when it starts to go away, check it out again. Just walk out the front door of the office here and peek at it. So I do have some glue that's kind of showing. I'm not worried about that because I'm going to go ahead and wipe it with my um, towel after. Just grabbing a couple of these little tiny dots. Hope you guys don't mind if we go over just a little bit. Time-wise. So this one, we're going to put the gems on the berries. I think that was the right choice. Good job, Melissa, telling me dark. It is a good contrast. And there's a little bit of the green in the dark. Um, that when it's, you know, it's got that iridescent-y, rainbow kind of contrast color so it will show and then um i think for the scullion we're going to go with a purple because there's purple in it so here i'm going to kind of show you the color and then the i don't know if i have the right color for that but we're going to do this purple color for the scullion it, yes, it is. And I think this one, we're not going to do the dots. I think I'm going to do the centers of the flowers on this one, just to give a little bit of a difference. And trying to get the right, all the same size gems if I can. And you see a couple comments on the screen in the corner of my eye. I will look up in just a second. I may end up adding more gems after the screen, but right now I'm just going to put the couple of gems that are in there right now. I'm going to go through Missouri, but down in the boot heel, and it's about four hour drive for me. I couldn't read that. I'm driving. Oh, you're going to miss. Oh, he's going to miss the meat. He's gonna... That's funny. I just thought my my boss is in Arizona, and so I am going to pop out and watch it. I don't know if he's going to come back in time or not. All right, rose gold. I don't know what I got for rose gold here. So we're just going to quick peek and see. These are not really rose gold, but we might, I think this might be. These are kind of a brown. Let's see what they look like, you guys. Quick. Oh, I think we're going to use those. I think I'm going to use those, if you guys don't mind waiting a few more minutes. That's what I thought, Sarah. I thought it was. I saw something today that told me that it was, Iowa was 91, 91%. And I thought, okay, well, that's that's fine. I mean, like I said, I remember the eclipse seven years ago. Because um, I know Tom and I were home. 
and we went out and used, you know, a welder's or something. I don't remember exactly what we had to kind of look. And we were out for a little bit, tried to take a couple photos, didn't have the right camera, and then we're like, okay, we're done. I was off at the time, I think, and he was off that day. So we were both off and we're like, let's go do errands together. Let's spend the time together. Because he was working on the road at that time. So these are from the neutrals. Yes, the neutrals, the ones Christopher uses all the time. And I'm gonna add them to the berries. So I appreciate you guys all joining me tonight. Sorry for keeping you just a little bit longer. Um, I will, like I said, I will have the new release. Some of the new release items will be here Saturday. I don't know if I will have everything Saturday, but I will have at the beginning of next week, some point. Um, so we will be able to play with that next week. Is there anyone have any requests from the new release and what I should play with next week? They are, I, they're kind of a, a brownie color, but they are perfect for this rose gold. I agree. I thought it's crazy how these mixes have the exact color that we need. And I like that there's two different sizes or three different sizes. So you can use, you know, I try not to worry too much about the different sizes. As long as I use the embossing powder. I can use the embossing powder. Um, Christy, I do too. I, this was helpful because I just used that, um, I used the dots, but I tried to do threes, fives, and I've tried scattering and just letting it happen. It doesn't work for me. So I have a few pieces here. Now, if you see there's a little on this black, there is some glue. I'm just taking my towel and I'm just going to kind of touch it, which kind of helps bring some of that off. I don't want to move. I'm just going straight up and straight down, and that kind of helps get some of that up so when it dries, it's not a big glob. It is starting to dry, so um, I usually do it right away. But it does help bring some of that up so that you don't see it as bad. So there we go, you guys. I did a three cards using the same stamp set different papers. I will bring them up to the camera, just a second. Um, different embossing powders. And um, so here is the rose gold on the pink lemonade. Is that what this is? Yep, on pink lemonade. Okay. And then this is the, and, and the, I have to wipe it down a little bit more because the, but this is the Raven with Scalene. I mean, you could totally change up your sentiment to make them more stand out-ish of this. And then this is the martini with craft, or paper bag, I should say. It's paper bag. And then this is the Jurassic. So I think you could also, you know, like I said, if you did this with all four corners would be fun too. Um, you know, and then of course you have this piece left too. So you could do this, you know, you could do something with just this piece too. You could cut off which is what I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to go in here like this, and we're going to just trim it. And we're going to go up here, and we're just going to trim it. And I don't need that piece anymore. Now I have this little flower that can be stuck on somewhere too and be used. Thank you, you guys. Thank you very much. It's, Christy, what I had... I understand that part of it too. I don't know what I like to do is triangles. Thank you, mom. Thank you guys. Thank everyone. Um, so I'll do like Christy. So I'll do like dot, dot, dot. Like I know people who I'm going to show you Christy real quick. If that's okay. Oh, Melissa. Thank you. You're so sweet. They'll take them and just kind of toss them on and let them lay. Um, I think Amy R does that. And then she kind of like this obviously wouldn't work. And she just kind of scatters them. And then it kind of works for people. But for me, I will do like, okay, if I want to do it around the sentiment, I'll do one, two. I'll try to do them like in a triangle. Does that make sense, Christy? Like that. Or, 
you know, or I try to make them go cascading up the card if I'm going to do them. And I'll do a few and try to make them look like they're not specifically placed. They're kind of a random. I'm just using yellow so that you can kind of see them. You know, and then, you know, not all have them all go in a line, maybe have them, you know, weirdly. That's kind of what I do until I'm happy with them. And then I try not to second guess it, but they're my hardest thing too. So, all right, you guys, well, I'm going to let you go and I will see you on next week for the big birthday week. I will tell you that Daryl's birthday is this week. He makes the stencils. I believe it's Friday, um, Friday or Saturday. And uh, I have birthday. Penny has a birthday. Christopher has a birthday. All this next week for sure. Thank you, you guys. Have a great night. And um, check out the new release. And I will see you on Wednesday. Good night.